hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it is stephanie of geeky planning back at it again for another video in today's video we will be planning out the week of october 4th through the 10th using this kit from key town i'm pretty sure it's pronounced key town because the shop owner's name i'm pretty sure is keaton so i've been saying kia town for forever but hopefully i will remember to say keaton for the remainder of this video um but i did pick out this kit i'm like moving my light really quickly so hopefully the lighting doesn't get any weird or anything but i did pick up this kit in specific to use for the week that i watched venom um at the Bee carnage in theaters so kind of really excited to use this guy so this is in the premium matte paper and this is for sure like the unicorn e type premium matte so these are the full boxes the like functionally type items and i did already pull some of these items to put with like my sticker pulling for the spread kind of a thing um and then the date covers i did pull in some date dots from sticker guru so you can use stuff 15 for 15 percent of your order plus my freebie for these guys um and then there is like the deco and weekend banner i don't think i will use any of this page but we'll see i might have to cut this up to be like extra labels or something this like ginormous double box which it looks like it's the size of like a box plus two headers so we'll see like how that actually turns out the weekend banner um like more rounded off half boxes quarter boxes all those things little things again some of them are missing um and some like normal headers and then the bottom washi washi strips and some sidebar e things and as per usual i do have a couple of tapes pulled out i have these two guys from creativity and ink i will for sure be using this one in the sidebar and i just now realized i originally had plans to do my sidebar on this side but i think i have to do it on this side just because of like how the bottom washi is i don't think i can like flip them around and have it still look quite is cute if that makes any sense and then if this bottom washi is too small which it looks like it's not yeah it's really not i was gonna try and like pull this one in as well but that is for sure not going to happen because this bottom washi is thick enough to go across the entire bottom e type section um, so i want to say that's it for this kit intro e thing as per usual don't forget to like and leave me a comment down below if you have any questions that you want me to answer in any future videos they don't have to be planner related um but they can if you want them to be kind of a thing i did like take off my spooky long nails and just like gave my nails a little bit of a breather and just painted them with like regular hollow taco the fall ish type collection from hollow taco which will be linked in the description box down below in case you want to check it out um yeah all that stuff and then as per usual don't forget what am i trying to say as per usual don't forget to click the subscribe button down below if you do want to be or and the notification button if you do want to be notified and catch all the things that come around on this channel all that fun stuff i will never find a not weird way to do that introduction anything um also we are still on our way to like a billion and one subscribers so any subscriber county things will help we're not even done with the intro and my camera already decided to cut me off so that's a great start to this plan with me but i did just want to mention that i will be listening to the delphi resistance while i plan out the spread um just because i don't have any like other podcasts to listen to so if you have any podcast recommendations leave them in the description box down below and i will check them out so now with all of that awkwardness out of the way let's go ahead and just get on to the rest of the plan with me Hello everyone, what is up? It is voiceover Stephanie back at it again for the little middle section of the poll line with me. Hi, hello, how are you? Hopefully we are all having a grand old time. Um, so just a little bit of a disclaimer, I think that because I've been putting more and more stuff in the base of my spread, the like base section is a lot longer than I anticipated it to be. I think it's like seven minutes long, which is kind of a lot and I'm kind of used to it being more in the like three to four minute range um so we'll probably have to change that i'm saying we i mean me i i will personally have to probably change that for like the next plan with me for the rest of forever and not include so many things in the base um just because the section is long and i already don't know what to put here because i still want to keep that thing where like i can add the timestamps between the base and the day by day and it's not like cut off mid-sentence even though i know last week's was like that but also like it's fine because last week's was like one of two very fun plan with me's on the channel and then the other like the two of two of the very fun plan with me's was my first collab with cafe with anna um using a creativity and ink kit and i will have both of those collabs listed on the screen somewhere at some point eventually i also haven't mentioned this yet i don't think but i have been trying to remember to put like this week last year plan with me's i think that's usually the first card that i have in my videos so like 
this week is the plan with me for week 40 of 2021 and then in the card in like the first one or two minutes of the video is the plan with me for week 40 of 2020 and I'll try to remember to do that for like from now until the end of time kind of a thing um just because like last year I didn't start my plan with me until like a whole month into the year and then like this year we started like week zero which is also technically week 52 but it's fine we're gonna have like 53 spreads in this planner because I plan to do both week zero and week 52 in this planner but that's a story <laughs> for another day anyways we're already on the rambly bits I guess that helps fill up like the seven minutes worth of time or whatever that the space is um but let's get on to the regular normal base section of the plan with me where we talk about like honorable mentions and my planning style so really quickly just to explain my planning style for those of you that don't know this is my memory planner which basically just means that she is a glorified sticker filled scrapbook all of these things did happen IRL for me um on the days that I put them down it's just a lot more fun for me personally to wait until the week is over to like have all the plans go down in my planner that way I don't have to like rearrange a bunch of stuff even though like normally I do do things really wrong <laughs> and I do end up rearranging a lot of things in this plan with me which you guys will see like for the remainder of this also sorry that you can see my crusty dusty hair when I'm like trying to lean in to like see the um what's it called like the the extender situation that's going on um i will try my hardest to not have again crusty dusty <laughs> hair going on the screen because it's never fun for anyone um but yeah she is just a glorified scrapbook it's a lot of fun for me to play and plan with stickers and support a lot of small shops which by the way i've been meaning to say this in, like the last couple of panel things but also like just I suck in general. Um, if you guys have like a tried and true favorite shop that you guys don't see me ever mentioning on my channel, chances are I don't know who they are or I just haven't like um, made the sacrificial plunge to purchase from them because I do get scared of like buying from new people if that makes any sense. Um, but if you do have a tried and true shop that you would like 100% 10 out of 10 recommend, leave them in the comment section down below because your girl is trying to expand her horizons in these sticker worlds um but yeah anyways on to some honorable mentions for this plan with me like i mentioned this kit is from kia town and i did use a like glitter header tape and um silver bougie boxes from rose color days the date dots that i used are from sticker guru and you can use staff 15 for 15 percent of your order plus my freebie i just slurred straight through that but it's fine um i don't think you see me ever put it down but on the top of my sidebar I do have um an October script from Letters to Apollo which I always forget to mention so like sorry about that um but basically this whole entire year has just been a bunch of scripts from Letters to Apollo unless I've explicitly said that I made that myself um and then in the sidebar I pulled in a five millimeter black tape from Creativity and Ink um a lot of the movie marquees that you see besides the one that I used to like mark Venom Let There Be Carnage they're all from Scribble Prints Co and then the one on Sunday that has the Adams Family is from the Coffee Monsters Co all of the coffee cups that I used are from the Cafecito not from Cafecito Designs they're all from the Coffee Monsters Co and then the Cafecito scripts that you see me pull in which you will see me pull in a lot more of are from cafecito designs and in my personal opinion like coffee is cold and cafecito is hot i don't know if anybody else feels the same way um but that's just how it always has been in my head so that's how i'm gonna mark them in my planner so like typically this whole week anytime you see cafecito like that's because i made myself french press for that day and which is a lot of fun um but yeah i'm trying to think of like other honorable mentions the class scripts and the little flashcards that i used to mark the days that i have classes are both from moonlight paper co and again you can use staff 15 15 percent of your order plus my freebie i did try to not pull in as much foil as i like normally do for this spread just because like i didn't do any like overlay tapes for any of the boxes i didn't do an overlay for the bottom washi like it was pretty plain and simple like 
I wanted it to be the majority of the foil that I used was in the bougie boxes so you'll see like even in the day by day there aren't a lot of icons and there's only like a couple of scripts that were pulled in um and then for the most part it's just a lot of Halloween stickers that I have from like Pox and Cactus, Jail and Paper Co, any of that fun stuff um but as per usual all the shops that I use will be listed somewhere on the screen and if not they will all for sure be listed in the description box down below along with any coupon codes whether they are mine or not which also if you guys notice that like if you know of a coupon code for a shop and I don't have it listed in the description box again chances are that I just don't know that there's a coupon code for that um like for the longest time I didn't know that the Coffee Monsters Co had one that was generical for everyone to use um and then once I discovered that I was like huh you're going in the bottom bar um but yeah so if you guys have any coupon codes that you know of let me know and I will be more than happy to add them in the like description box even if they're PR codes I feel like those are my favorite ones because not only do you discover a coupon code to save you money from a shop but you also discover a new like planner person that you can follow on like Instagram, YouTubes, all of those things um but yeah so that's it for this little base e section let's get on to the day by day Alrighty, so full disclaimer, this is now officially the next day. I like did the first half of this voiceover, started doing the second half of it, and then like wasn't super happy with it because I know that I ramble a lot, but this was like an excessive amount of rambles, if that makes any sense. So hopefully we can A, think of some fun stuff to talk about for the second half of this video, but also B, not go as rambly cuckoo bananas as we did the first time. Um, so I would have to say the main highlight for the week was definitely the whole getting of the flu shot for me. I am personally somebody that very much so advocates for people getting vaccines and stuff as long as like you have spoken and you have spoken to like your medical professional primary care provider all that fun stuff like I would personally out of 10 recommend other people do that and other people get vaccines and things as well to keep your body as like as you know efficient as humanly possible I don't think that's the right word but like the opposite of immunocompromised um even though that's not the right word either um but yeah just like try to keep yourself as healthy as humanly possible as you can um but yeah anyways so all that aside psa get your flu shot get your own shot get all the shots um that you can <laughs> and qualify for um and especially if they're free um to just keep yourself as safe as you can be um but anyways i don't remember if i mentioned this in the base section or in the like previous voiceover that i had deleted but i am absolutely in love with the cafecito stickers from cafecito designs because obviously i shouldn't say obviously but like i'm pretty sure in the intro i said that like cafecito to me is hot coffee and then like coffee is cold coffee if that makes any sense um so that's for sure something that i think is really cute to see in the spread and also like i think something that would be really fun to look at like whenever i start doing the flip through of my planners um especially because like in california it doesn't ever get really cold so i feel like it's definitely an iced coffee year-round kind of a climate um so I always just get really excited when I can pull out like my hazelnut creamer for my French press coffee or like go to Target and get the peppermint mocha creamer from Starbucks like all of those guys and <laughs> Okay, so I am waiting for red cup season to start at Starbucks um I know we're very much so still <laughs> in October, um, but my favorite drink at Starbucks is the chestnut praline latte, and that's like a winter exclusive drink that only comes when the red cups come. So I am just personally waiting. Like that is the time where it is the most difficult for me to resist going to Starbucks um, because like that's just absolutely my favorite drink of ever. And if you haven't tried it, 10 out of 10 recommend if you can, if there's a Starbucks next to you and it is red cup season. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think of like other fun and exciting things that happened this week. I went to the movies twice in one week, which is like the first for me ever in my life. So on Tuesday, I went to go watch Venom, Let There Be Carnage. And honestly, the movie was really good. Like I was kind of scared going into it just because all the reviews that I saw online were like, this was terrible, a remake that didn't need to happen. Like, why is this even a thing kind of a thing? Um... So I was just like, oh my gosh, like this, this is going to be the world's worst movie. But no, it was actually pretty good. I would say like the only part that I didn't really like about it was how fast it was. Like the movie was only like an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes. So I was really confused because most like super, I don't want to say superhero movies because I don't think Venom is technically a superhero, but like most action-y type movies 
um, at least in this universe, are like pretty lengthy. So I was kind of surprised to see a movie be under two hours, especially with like recent movies going more towards like two and a half hour mark. Um, but like besides that, like I would say the pace of the movie aside, I think the movie was really good. Um, like acting was really good. It wasn't as like spooky as I thought it was going to be, even though I know Venom isn't a spooky character. Like it's definitely not a Halloween movie. Um, but I don't know. I was just expecting more like jumpy, scary type things thrown into it but that's definitely not the case for this movie um and then I also saw The Addams Family 2 which I would say of the two movies I would personally prefer to watch The Addams Family 2 again um and I feel like that shouldn't come as a surprise because like my favorite genre of movies is definitely like children and family movies for sure without a doubt um so on Sunday I went to go watch The Addams Family 2 and before I went to do that I watched the first The Addams Family because it is on the Hululu so yeah, I would say The Addams Family 2 was for sure really cute, and I think this was the most twisty-turny, right-turn kind of a movie for, like, a children's movie. Like, there was definitely, I feel like throughout the entire movie, there was a lot of just, like, oh my gosh, what is even going on like I would have never guessed that's how like that's what was going to happen next and I think that's also kind of the case for like the first Adam's Family movie but this was like turned up to a 10 if that makes any sense um which again is kind of really exciting for a children and family movie just because like the actual jokes and the animations and like the style of it all is very like children friendly but like if you actually take a deeper look at like the storyline and stuff that makes it more like adulty family friendly uh, adult family friendly like parental unit adult tío, tía, tío, whatever that kind of a thing um so like honestly if I had to pick one of the two movies for you to you for you to use for you to watch I would say it's the Adams Family 2 um it was really cute I'm trying to think of like other things that I can say about it without spoiling the entire movie but I would say just like be ready for twists and turns beyond like I don't know expectance expectedness that's another thing that I would say like I did watch all of the trailers for both Venom Let There Be Carnage and The Addams Family 2 and I would say like Venom Let There Be Carnage I don't know if it's because the movie was so much shorter or what um I think actually the movies themselves were about the same runtime but like Venom Let There Be Carnage the trailers showed a lot more of like the fun parts of the movie versus like The Addams Family 2 I think there's only like one fun part of the movie that I think was part of the trailer um and like, I don't know, there's more not in the trailer than there is that was a part of the trailer, if that makes any sense. Also, the ending was kind of predictable, but like, not really for like, Venom Let There Be Carnage. So I was just like, eh, eh, eh. I liked the ending, but like, I expected to like it more and at least have there be some sort of twisty turn at the end of it for that one. Um, So it's my movie review <laughs> that no one asked for. I also watched a lot of just like, generical Halloween movies this week week generical is not a word I know that but like I say it anyways um so I watched like Halloween Town High Return to Halloween Town it's like th the third and fourth movies in the Halloween Town series um Hocus Pocus and Corpse Bride and like Corpse Bride is a phenomenal movie absolutely 10 out of 10 love all of it um one day I would want to be good enough in makeup to dress up as the corpse bride for Halloween. I think that would be really cool. Um, but like back to Halloween Town really quickly. I think the only one out of the four movies that I don't like is the return to Halloween Town. And I think it almost completely has to do with the whole like recasting of Marnie, the main character in the series, because like even though for the most part everything else is exactly the same um, in terms of like characters, storylines, who people are, any of that stuff, like because there was one person just completely recast, I feel like that just makes the movie have much less of an impact overall, if that makes any sense. I don't know. Again, my opinions that no one asked for on movies, that no one wanted to be critiqued or any of that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, that is it for this plan with me. Let's go ahead and get on to the outro for the end of the actual plan with me. Alrighty, so that is it for this spread. Full disclaimer, this is like the next day. So if I seem a little bit out of sorts, um, that is why. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the spread in full. I didn't like remember, or not remember. Yeah, I didn't think of what I wanted to put in the sidebar. Honestly, I might as well change it to be this blue label. If it's the same, it is the same thickness. Okay, hold on, pause. We're gonna change that really quickly. If this will come up. Wow, that surprisingly still wants to come up an entire day later. 
Um, honestly, we might as well just layer this guy over top of it. It's fine. We're fine. Because they're the same size anyway, yes. Okay, cool, cool. So now <laughs> that is it for this spread. I have no idea what to put like in this little sidebar section, but I figured a label is a lot easier to try to think of something versus like a habit tracker where I have to think of what I did for multiple days, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, so this is the spread in full and honestly stunning. Like as usual, I love this ginormous double box thing. It is like really tall, um, but also it's really cute. So it's fine. And then we do have a little extender E going on over here just so I can make sure to use all of the full boxes that came in the kit itself. But really quickly, let me go ahead and just flip through set kit. These pages are for sure out of order because again, the next day <laughs> and I couldn't be bothered to like try and make this match a little bit more. Um, there's definitely still a lot left and I'm kind of really glad that I decided to color block even though that was like a struggle bus and a half while I was filming this um because I was really scared that I was going to run out of like half boxes which I didn't so I could have used more but I didn't um but yeah that is everything up for this spread as per usual let's just pause take a bit of a breather take a bit of a chill pill and deep breath in deep breath out and repeat after me I am a badass. This is a little bit more vulgar than like what we normally do on here, but I also feel like it's really important to remember that you can be the like baddiest version of yourself, the bravest version of yourself. And I feel like being a badass encompasses like the confidence, the bravery, the like ability to speak up for yourself, all of those things that make you a beautiful human being with, you know, good mental health state, all of that fun stuff. Um, but as per usual, um, <clears throat> I don't even know what, I always forget how to end these things and I forgot last week, I'm forgetting this week too, but whatever, that is it. As long as you remember to do whatever you need to do to be the most amazing and sparkling movie. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.